too much, but it's Valentine's Day, you're here at a concert, and just some living program notes for you. First, this has been an incredible journey for these young musicians. Uh, after a wonderful tango concert at Trinity Wall Street, we jumped right into working on Shostakovich, and then uh, right after the new year, we, work, we started working on the Bernstein. And the, the pairing, the recipe of Bernstein and Shostakovich was not an accident. Uh, while we are celebrating the centennial of uh, Leonard Bernstein, and that's happening over a two-year period, and of course this was the easiest piece to choose as an opening work, it's, it's a little bit more than that. Uh, when you think about the piece like Candide and, and, and Voltaire and Lillian Hellman and Bernstein, and the things they were trying to say by writing this satirical operetta uh, that poked fun at many different things during a uh, time of, frankly, great hysteria in this country, 1956, uh, and then, of course, Shostakovich with his own tortured uh, personal um, struggles as he was writing his music some decade uh, and, and a bit more before that. And this work itself is, is also tinged in a little bit of uh, patriotic sarcasm, if, we, if you will. Uh, Shostakovich wanted to redeem himself so he can resume his career. And um, he wrote pretty much a very subversive symphony that while at one point um, kind of gets his apology through, but at the same time is able to say, yeah, but there's something else here. And so uh, the pairing of these two pieces is not an accident. Uh, this is quite a journey for these young musicians. And as Karen said to you, the Playathon is, is an important event that they'll be playing at. They'll also be playing at the Metropolitan Museum in the spring. Uh, it's, it's just been an incredible journey with these fantastic ninjas, as I like to call them, in music. So please enjoy uh, Shostakovich, Symphony Number 5 in D minor. 